to the decision around when we might resume in-person services. Early in the fall, when rates were on the decline. Okay. Good morning. What, buddy? Um, I showed you like two seconds of we watched church this morning online and now we're going to get dressed to go to the store. And I realized there's a few kind of like loose ends that I didn't tie up yesterday. Like I didn't tell you, I said I would report back about the Shawn Mendes album. I said I would talk to you about anxiety. Um, oh my gosh, now he's stuck in here. So we'll get to that later, but we're going to get dressed, go to the grocery store. Happy Sunday. I oh, think he neat. did. We were looking yeah. at this super duper cool. World. The world, Gary says. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Maybe, do we have some inspiration for our gingerbread house now? Some oh. ideas? Oh, oh, oh. All right, Gary, you ready to get the trip? Stopping in my favorite coffee place in Chandler. It's called Coffee Rush. And there's a long line, but that's okay. I will wait. My brother and the kids are in the car. Okay, what section are we in? The ice cream section. The ice cream section, and we have to pick, excuse me. <laughs> so I'm looking for three different kinds of vanilla. I'm committing to this. Um, there's so many flavors, huh? Hold on, buddy boy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's the kind you have at home. We need to find the same brand that carries the three different styles. I think dryers might be our best bet. <gasps> Do you see the Mickey Mouse ice cream? And the Anna and Elsa? Yeah. What? Which one looks yummy to you? Gummy one. That one? You're so funny. Oh, here we go, here we go. Vanilla bean. Yep. Vanilla, and now we need a, a fried, oh, boom. Okay, we're doing this. Daddy said we could get ice cream. Yeah! What kind are we gonna get? Daddy said you could get ice cream because we already got 800 pounds worth of vanilla, right? Okay. This was the four-year-old's selection. Good choice. <laughs> I like to read the instructions because that's what kindergarten teachers do. Okay, ready? Hi, can you keep a secret? Uh-oh, we already blew it. In this bag is an ornament for you to make for your mom, dad, or whole family. Can you find someone to help you put the gingerbread cookie together? Dad, mom, mom. Okay, let's okay, make dad. it for daddy. Um, then you can wrap it. Chilling with my number one. We are watching YouTube and I lit the peppermint sugar cookie candle and it is a vibe. It smells so nice. It's like a perfect balance. It's not too sweet or not too pepperminty or anything. I should probably, well, I should probably either walk him or shower soon. One or the other. I'm feeling pretty lazy at the moment. So it might just be a shower, but wanted to pop in and still know I have to um, touch on those topics. So I'll do that in a little bit. All right, we did in fact shower and I have a question for y'all as I'm applying my toner. I'm applying a toner and I, and I like it. And there's another one by Dermalogica that has like a spray on it which i really like because then you don't have to use a cotton pad or anything at all you just spray it directly on but i was curious if any of you all had a toner recommendation because it's just one of those things that i feel like i ha i don't know like again i do really like this one the keels calendula 
it's very mild it's just kind of soothing but i don't necessarily notice like a huge difference and then the dermalogica one again it's like i love the way it sprays on and my skin was like pretty good the whole time i used it it's kind of pricey though so i just thought i would ask survey the people do you use toner and if so which one do you recommend we're fresh we're clean we're moisturized and we're wearing a tailor shirt so all is well How you doing, Pozilla? Can I see your dreidel? Oh. I need a... And we're off It's dinner time. It's dinner time. You don't like my song? My nephew's rolling his eyes at me. <laughs> it is time for the great ice cream. What did I call it? Taste it's test. Challenge. We have in this corner vanilla bean, French vanilla, and old fashioned vanilla. Will we be able to tell the difference? Yes. With our eyes closed. And then we have glitter blue ice cream as well. Okay, I can't look. Everybody's, oh, I. Creaming? Well, I hope it's creamy. Very sweet, very sugary. What's vanilla eat? Why? Yeah, very creamy. You said it's sugary? I feel like it's like I feel like it's like rich custardy. This might be the French vanilla. I'm just looking at the different Man, having my eyes closed is not easy for me. I don't think you're gonna be able to tell the difference by looking at it. Or like Are you sure? Okay, we're probably gonna be able to tell the difference. It's good, but it's pretty plain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It tastes kind of like Cool Whip ish. Yeah. yeah. That is a good way to describe that. Whoa, mine is a glitter. Yours is a glitter. It does not taste like glitter. Right, I'm ready for another one. Me too. Okay. Feel free to make it a little smaller. Don't mine mix our too. Bowls up. Mine too. You want more too? Yeah, don't mix our bowls up. Heaven forbid. Okay. We're related. Okay, I guess we're your bowls ready. But I. Do you want some more too? Do you want some more of this one? Yeah, I am. Oh, is this like a Play Doh mold? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Can somebody give me some Yeah, I can give you a little more, but. This is number two? This is two. Okay, ready, Chris? Do you want some more of your blue? Or you want some of this? There was nothing in that spoon. What? Blue. You want some more of your blue? Okay. Do you want some more of your blue? Yeah. Okay. Do you want some more of your blue? Yeah. Okay. Do you want some more of your blue? Yeah. Okay. This is definitely taste different. My guess is... Oh, very good. This one tastes more like Cool Whip than the last one. Very good. Less sweet, much less sweet. Mm hmm Much more like Cool Whip. Okay, I think... This one tastes more like vanilla to me and less like sugar. So I think this one is Old Fashioned Vanilla and I think the last one was French Vanilla. I like this one better. I like the last one better. No, this one's way better. No! One! Much more vanilla flavor. Mm -hmm. I like the last one better. better Texture is about the same. Yeah, this one's well, maybe this one's a slightly more custardy. Well, this Tillamook look ice cream is like especially creamy, so actually the texture is probably pretty similar because it's like. Hey, is there a reason you're eating ice cream with your hands? Is that a new technique? He got like a big clump. I'm of just the, curious. <laughs> of the bits in all in one. Go ahead. Yeah, I definitely like that one better. Much more vanilla y, much less sugary. Right here. God, 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 yeah, you can go to a store, Jeff, and buy more for ice cream. We can? Okay, oh, here, here, you got most of the container. Don't stick your spoon in everything. GJ, who eat. got you the glitter ice cream? Heck yeah. Did mom get this along with the Lucha Libre mask? Because this also feels like a Hispanic, yes. like. Yeah. 
and a Pia Kahlo shirt. Yeah. Person. Oh, that's precious. Let's start with you. Okay. Last one. Don't, don't be, Sorry, don't be I... looking, Christopher. Oh, I'm looking at all of them. They all look the same. Just you, just say nothing to me. No, no, he said, why is it blue? Because I also scooped some for air. I don't want to with the vanilla. Oh, this one is... Oh, oh shh, shh, shh. Because yeah. right. you're looking. Mine's a blind taste test. Okay. Once again, I pick up the spoon with nothing on it. This one's kind of similar to the last one. This one's like a little thicker. Yeah, it's just a little thicker. Yeah, it's thicker. Okay. Also less sweet than that. Here's the thing. But it's really not that different. This tastes identical to the first one. Yeah. No, it tastes like, I think it tastes more like the second, second one. I no. It's gooder than the duck. It's gooder than what? The, 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 the it's not gooder than the glitter though, right? Can That's I have some of your glitter? Sure you can. I'm going to have some glitter. Okay, this one's my favorite. Okay. No, middle one. I can't tell the difference. No, here's my, here's my result though. Everybody can eat glitter. Thanks, buddy. So, after my research, but here is my conclusion before we even get that what's what. There is no point in a company selling three separate vanilla flavors. Can we agree with that? We can all agree with that. I, I spent $15 on three different ice creams. Because they're, I think, more than that. And these are all the literal same thing. I'll lick the scooper. What are, what are the, the third what are the one, I think the third one was vanilla bean. Yeah, the third one was definitely vanilla bean because I looked at it. Like this is like a brat. Yeah, I think this was the first one and I think this was the second one. I think, I think that was the third one. I think French vanilla was the first one. And old no, you're both wrong. French vanilla was the middle one. That was the one I liked the best. Yeah. Old fashioned vanilla was the first one. Mm -hmm. That was the one I liked the least. No, I like the third one at least. You, vanilla bean is the best. The, these two were almost oh, identical. These, yeah. Like, the glitter ice cream is better two, than all oh, yours. You're probably right, Gary. But load me up with some glitter. I'm over this the shenanigans. Oh, In conclusion, glitter for there's no reason for a company to have three vanillas. Less sweet. And you know what's yeah, weird, you guys? At the store, there were several brands I could have gotten. Where'd my spoon go? Mm -hmm. Okay, like, now, we'll, now we'll compare it to glitter. Okay. Now, now we'll compare it to glitter. <laughs> Why are there five different companies that all sell yeah, three vanillas? The, the strip mm, <laughs> high five. Yeah, there's very little difference. <laughs> oh, Did he come so close to me that you had to freak out? Yeah, 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 he barked and looked at me. I know, he's a silly boy. <laughs> he's so silly. Mom, Why is it? I do agree. I actually 100% agree with that, that your glitter ice cream is the best. But why is it that like, it's very common for multiple ice cream companies to sell all three? Because I think it's easy. If you have the ingredients to make one, you can make them all. But what's the point? And just make a little more money. Because people think clearly that, that means that, that, yeah, vanilla just sells that well. It's almost like a marketing ploy. Yeah. Because it's like, some people, Baby, yeah. Some That's good blue. You know what? That's a high quality blue. Shout out okay, to the blue. Okay, Dad. Shout out to the blue ice cream. That's my favorite one, Gary. No. Okay. Middle vanilla. The middle vanilla. I mean, Guys, I am a permanent the child. The ice cream is the best. Oh, no way. The, the best ice cream is the, the third one was the very similar. Oh, I am. So did we all like different vanillas? No, Chris and I like the same one. I guess that's why you're married. Well, that was fun. $15 well spent. Okay, guys, it's the end of the night. We did our taste test, and then I sat downstairs, and I actually finished Ratchet, which... Have you guys watched it? Like, do you have thoughts? It kind of ended on a bit of a cliffhanger, which I'm assuming then their intention is to get another season, um, which would be cool. 
I did like it. I think like the colors were really good. And like the visuals were like the cinematography was good. It was well acted. It was like crazy and gruesome, but like entertaining. Had like a little bit of shock value. But I've heard a lot of people compare it just to like American Horror Story and like it's very, very like Ryan, Ryan Murphy, is that the creator? I have actually seen the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest a few times and I've read the book. So I feel like I definitely have a decent understanding of like the character as it was written, at least in the book and the movie. And so, I don't know, this does kind of seem like it's in a full different world a little bit, but it's good. I don't know, I would definitely watch the next season. So I need to think of what show to watch next. Okay, before I sign off for the evening, I need to come back and talk about the things that I didn't talk about. So first, I told you I would update you on Shawn Mendes' Wonder album. I liked it. I ended up saving it to my Spotify and I think I liked all the songs, like you heart them and add them to like your liked library. I really like him, his old, like his first album, or like, I don't even know if it was an album or an EP or what, like if you have liked Shawn Mendes since then, then shout out. And then his album that had, I think it had Treat You Better on it, but like every single one of those songs was gold, even though a lot of them didn't become singles. And then he became more mainstream. And anyway, I liked the album. Okay, the anxiety thing. I am feeling better and doing better, so I guess that's why I was like, whatever about talking about it, but like, I don't know. First of all, this is actually like a very, very um, complex layered situation. So yeah, I, <laughs> how much do I want to say? I mean, I've like full on been diagnosed with like anxiety disorder and I even have like some specific phobias, which is not a fun thing to live with. I mean, I don't know, maybe a lot of you can relate, I don't know. But that's all to say that my therapist has told me how in a lot of situations or just in life, I operate through an anxious brain. Like anyone with generalized anxiety or whatever might do. So, I mean, I can look at almost any situation and sometimes I, what I think is totally like normal. I mean, that's a, that word in it of itself, I guess is like a construct, but you know, I might think of something and be like, oh, why do I do this? And she's like, oh, that's your anxious brain. And I'm just like, oh, like not even realizing that it was different rather uh, like than what other non anxious brain people might do. So all that is to say that yesterday I started feeling like all of a sudden, everybody that I knew pretty much was mad at me all my friends I don't know you guys friendship is so weird as you become an adult you know what I mean because it's like there were days where like we saw each other in the freaking hallways at school every day all day every day and then there were days when we were like you know teenagers in the summer with nothing to do and would hang out all the time and then we were in college and then it's like, and then you're in your young 20s and you party and like, and then things just happen and we get so busy and priorities shift and big time responsibilities come up. And I don't know about you, but like, I'm the type of person I feel like with my friends, I don't know. It's hard because I know that you kind of naturally drift from people, even if like, you just, you can't necessarily easily keep up with and like stay in intense touch with like that many people when you're an adult you know what I mean but I feel like I like even if I don't talk to you literally hardly ever like I still love you like I can say that about so many people like I still feel like there are so many people who I could just like pick back up with and who I still like super value like the time we had I think they're great like 
I guess by definition, I can't think of them as like a best friend anymore or a super close friend, but like in my head and in my heart, they kind of are. And then I do have like more like best friend, close friend type people where like I don't talk to them that often, but I don't know. Can anybody relate to this? And so then sometimes if I haven't talked to certain people in a little while or whatever, I will start to just like spiral and be like, everybody hates me, everybody's forgetting about me, like I'm a loser, I suck. And I'm not saying any of this for any degree of sympathy or whatever, but I'm just curious if anybody feels me on this. And just in general, how do you navigate friendships as an adult? And what are your thoughts? I don't know. And then sometimes when I feel that way, then I just want to push people away. But then I like where I, it's like a whole situation. So I reached out to my movie club who are some of my best friends. It's three of them. And it was funny because I was like, guys, do you ever feel like everyone's mad at you? Like, I don't know what to do. And then as I was realizing, I was like, oh, I don't think you guys are mad at me though. So like, oh my God, I hope you're not mad at me because I'm reaching out to you guys right now for advice. It was just funny. It was like the spiral continued, you know? I don't know if any of this made sense. I'm going to sign off here though because I feel like today's vlog was long. Today was a great day. I actually like totally have the Sunday scaries-ish right now and don't want to work tomorrow even though I love my job. It's fabulous and I, I'm and it'll be fine. Like I don't have that much. <laughs> I hate to complain when I'm like in this distance learning setup. Although, I mean, I don't like it. I much prefer teaching in person, but it is different. Anyway, chatty Kathy, party of one. I just really enjoy having like my days and like, you know, this weekend hanging out with my nephew, my niece, chilling, living my life, watching TV, but you know, duty calls. So I'll see you tomorrow. I did not do my advent calendar today. So we'll do two tomorrow. <gasps> Look at this. Spot the cannoli. Spot the cannoli. <laughs> I just love when like his little like paw or his little nose is sticking out. Okay. Good night. Love ya so much.